Hello, builders. Welcome to Camp Play. <coughs> yep, <coughs> today we are not having any game, <coughs> but really coming back to building Dum Dum because my backlog is never ending. So I really need to hasten a little bit <coughs> to finish it up as much as I can. So during my last stream, I was building the Gundam Legerous so apparently I just completed the both of the feet so we are going to continue from there <laughs> so afternoon stream will be a <coughs> building session until I my goal for today is to build at least until the the chest area so let's see how much can we do today so without further ado let's start with the Gundam so yep we are going to some shin area already so apparently the shin area on my last stream I was trying to build it but I'm running short of time so I didn't manage to to build it so let's continue from there and as usual my background sound will usually have some uh, Gundam anime playing try to motivate me to build my gun players so we're going to have A14 and A15 so apparently this is the A side this is the ace, so A14. That's <coughs> A14. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, okay. A14 and A15 for the left. Yeah, the left. So, as usual, try to cut away from the part. We'll be using a two cut uh, method. And apparently, this one is a sticker area, so I was still pondering whether should I paint it or should I use the sticker instead. So, my last stream I was mentioning about the new nipper that I was wondered, uh, I was trying to get out of it. I haven't got the time to go and get it so I'm still using my own nippers so you see you can see the rust all there already right yeah it's really time for me to change man and the the tip is getting a little bit blunt so whenever I cut right I will tend to stretch the plastic instead of really cutting it so this is really not a good idea for building gunplay anymore so the last thing I was mentioning about this single blade uh, single blade nipples which apparently is a better choice for these two two blade nipples is because uh, the single blade right how to say um, okay imagine this is the runner runners uh, so when you cut right instead of you squeezing and pushing out the the plastic right the single blade right will try to bend this and cut at one side which is a very clean cut in my opinion so i haven't go and check it out so i for now i will try to use this for my uh sd gundams <laughs> so if i happen to ch build a RG already I definitely need that single blade cutter already because I don't wish to to this I'll say to uh, use a very blunt nipper to cut on my RGs man because RG uncheap is very expensive uh, in so uh, 144 RG on my side right really cost about $50 that kind you know 
<coughs> so as I was saying that this one right the part over here is yellow so I was wondering whether should I use a pin Gandamagato uh, pin or should I use the sticker and stick on it so it's a bit of a contemplating situation so what you guys think should I use a sticker or should I go and go ahead with the marker because marker tips are very very you know you see very thick uh, and apparently this one is a little bit dry already so it won't fit well I don't know I can try so it doesn't fit well then should I use a sticker because sticker usually tend to have the, the stickiness of the of the thing uh, so this one is a seven I got two sevens so it's seven and six, seven and six. Okay, so seven over here, six over here. And I, I need a PC. This is a PC portion 303 with a F. Now I'll put it here over first. So if I paint right, because the pin doesn't flow well and it might have uh, what's that called uh, unevenness on it uh, I think I'll use the sticker instead so let's move down the edge now so the crafting line is out and try why is there so many dirt on it try to be careful don't cut yourself they are very sharp okay today the weather is is a uh, very stuffy I'm trying to cool myself with Singapore's most favorite drink and that is the boba tea yeah the brown sugar tapioca milk series is very popular now in Singapore I don't know why but you tend to see a lot of people queuing up for all these men so that's what health uh, authority authority has mentioned all these sugary drinks are not healthy because it contains a lot of sugar content blah 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 whatsoever but you know usually we we need some sugar in our life huh, to have some sweetness huh, because life is so uh what's it called difficult bitterness whatsoever so some sweetness in life is still okay I don't want to promote this but a little bit of sweetness is still okay la, but not try try not to drink every day is it's quite kind of really unhealthy is it clean now okay this one is clean So what you guys are doing for the weekends, any interesting stuff, you can share on my stream. So recently I saw this news <laughs> about uh, anime co anime figure collector uh being harassed by this uh entitled mother so 
I saw a lot of hoo ha on, on this uh, news. Uh. Okay, the the whole background story is a uh, is this uh, this uh, anime figure c uh, collector, a guy apparently, a teen a teenage guy lah. So apparently he managed to get this limited edition. Uh, I don't know you guys are familiar with new droids. So this new droid uh, figure, female fi uh, figures is uh, already out of production. So he managed to find one and bought it and the price is not that cheap uh, because usually these new right figures right about this about this size uh, I think it's about the same size as my gunplay I guess my SDs so it's about this size usually it costs about uh, 30 to 40 dollars if I if I guess it correctly the average price so apparently this one this limited edition it doesn't come, come cheap it costs 70 70 dollars yeah, seventy dollars for this uh, limited edition uh, figurines. Ah. so he he was so excited, man. So that he he was uh, uh, so called like exploring and playing around, playing it a little bit on the train itself. So apparently, this mother with uh with a kid with a kid lah so uh, I think it's a, a, a son I think so this son was very uh, amused about that toy that the the, t the teenager is holding wanted to like grab grab that toy and try to play with it but apparently the teenage teenager was very cautious and try to like uh, moving far away from from that little boy lah so then which made that little boy a bit upset lah that kind of thing so this mother was like uh because the the the, the little kid was making a tantrum in the train so this mother was uh saying whether this teen can give give ah i didn't say land ah give that toy to his son you know of course <laughs> Being a, a collector itself, of course he rejected politely lah. Don't want to to like uh being rude to that mother lah because and explain to her that this toy isn't cheap and it's very hard to get. You guess, you guess what happened? The mother was like, "You don't lie to me," shouted over to that teenager. I was like, "What the hell?" I mean, that toy doesn't belong to that. That, that that son, the little boy and the mother leh. Of course in the owner should protect it and save and reject anything right. How how dare you like mention and shout across at this teen saying that he's lying. <laughs> yeah. I mean you are you're not the one who is buying it. Of course you don't know the price then. Uh but you shouldn't say that he's lying what? Correct or not? I mean we collectors are very very careful with our own toys already uh, and we don't really want strangers to touch it i mean i feel very sorry for that uh, anime collector lah. so this time i really wanted to stand by him by him and say that uh, for those who don't understand the toys that we are having right or playing with it it doesn't come cheap Yes, it is not cheap. Our hobby are very expensive. That is why I always very very careful with my my Gundams, my my toys. I try to be very very gentle with it. That kind of thing. Yeah. So don't ever t say that our toys are cheap, man. <laughs> so it's it's very ang. I mean, I feel very angry for for that situation, uh. So yeah, once again, I tell you guys, the toys we, we are having are not cheap. So please respect our hobby as well. Mm. Mm, the brand is Boba tea is pretty nice, huh? Mm, okay, let's continue. So I, I need to file a bit. Maybe I should cut the other side as well. 
So we, we have the both side tech housing. So this is the left side. So I try to separate it just in case that I miss up. Oh, oh, oh sorry. So the other part is uh, 13 and 12, which is here. So if I was in that situation right, I definitely won't let go of that mother. Because I myself really can't bear to play often on my toys already and how would how would it that be that I will let a stranger to touch it, man? Oh oh oh! Is it too blur? Like the camera is a bit blur, huh? wait uh. Are you guys able to see what I'm doing? Okay, I'm trying to focus again Give me a while By the way guys, I'm using a handphone to To do this, uh, so I don't know whether is it uh, clear for you guys. Is it better now? I guess it's better now, I think. Sorry, or oh, is it better this way? Because I, I, if I have a black background, it looks better, right? You can see the difference. Okay, I think this is better. Okay, I'll do this. So let's continue. Um, so you see this little part because the light is like maybe it's reflecting on the manual itself so you won't be able to see very clearly of the exposure So guys, if you have any projects on hand, would like to share on my stream, please go ahead. I would like to try to complete this as much. This a bit like been cut too much, huh? Eh? 
Yeah, this is a bit scratch mark over there. Never mind that, maybe a little bit of fouling should do the trick. Okay. Okay, it's clean. Okay. Did the left side? Yep, this one. This one looks needs a little bit more falling. Okay, I guess I need to ex do something. Sorry, I think the brightness isn't dead. Uh. Is it better now? better sorry guys because uh, recently there's a lot of uh, arrangement on this gunplay thing so yep is it better now yeah Okay, I think I'll use these settings going forward. So I'm trying to feel. So if you guys have any better suggestion on the setting up of this uh, gunplay building, please go ahead. Looks clean, 
Let's clean. Okay. This one, yep. Yeah, this one like nothing nothing much need to be done. Maybe here. Okay, it's clean uh, now. Maybe this side is also have one part. Yep. For me, I will try to use less of the stickers and try to paint more. But SD is kind of how to say. It? The paint is kind of kind of hard to reach, uh, so yeah. I mean, I don't have a proper equipment for for painting, so most of the time I will be using a uh, Gundam markers. So as you know, the Gundam markers, the tip is not that friendly. So some of the times you may you may smudge to the other part, which doesn't require the color. I know I'm. Uh, you're saying to use brush. I do have brushes. So, but the brushes doesn't go well with the Gundam markers paint. So, when you finish using, you try to wash. In the end, it still doesn't come off, and I, you know, uh, spoil quite a few of the brushes now. So, yeah, it's kind of waste wastage, ah. Uh. So. That is why I try to balance out stickers and Gundam markers for my SD Gundams. So farting is done. So now is to go with the stickers. Okay, let's say um, this is quite small, so I'll be using a toothpick instead. So six, seven. Six is for this part. Seven is for this part. So we shall go with six first. Uh, which is a better point? I think this way is better. Is it raining outside? Yep, it's raining. Finally. And I need to close my windows. Maybe after this.
I'm very bad with stickers, man. I still can't figure out how to really, you know, stick it properly. Maybe I should turn this way because my master hand is a uh, right hand. You see, uh, my hand is shaking now. Is it fit properly? You see, okay. This side is like a bit too much. Yeah, it's trying to. Sorry guys, it's, uh, if I don't start talking right, it's because I wanted to fully focus on this part, man. Looks okay. Sorry, I'm losing my voice. <clears throat> Oops. Yeah. Wow, this is my best stickers sticking, man. So, okay, I need to close my windows first before the ring got come in. Okay. So I need to use a cotton bud. Try to go over with to let it fully stick onto it okay seems fine One part done, we shall go with the seven to complete one side first. So it's better for me to start from the other end.
Let's go hit. Um, should be this way. Remember guys, be patient, don't rush, this is always my phrase or sentence all the time on this gunplay stream. Yeah. Sorry guys, give me a while. Okay. Try not to poke in the middle of the the sticker. I try to align it at the side instead, so you won't damage the the sticker itself. Seems okay. Yep, looks fine. Apparently, I damaged a little bit on this part. See whether I can even it out. Okay. I think it's done. There should be much of the coloring. Actually, the top part is yellow, and then this back part is grey. Well, in the end, I still need to paint. <laughs> maybe, maybe at least for the gray part, I guess. Okay, we shall do the gray one. Where's my gray?
Okay. So I go here with this part as well. Also let the other part to dry. Let it dry. Okay, let's see. Um, maybe panel line. Okay, guys, remember for white parts, right? Please use a gray panel line so that your line won't be as, you know, very obvious, that kind of thing. Because black, black, right? It doesn't. It will make the line too bold and it doesn't look nice on white itself. So please be wary of that. So let's pen a line. Just nice. Always use a cotton bud to try to lessen the line thickness and also create a you know those smoky effect on these line parts. There you go. So this one over here Try to do it as soon as you finish the line so that you're able to get a smoky effect it's, So if you let it dry for a while already, right, it's pretty hard to do that smoky effect already Yep. Hi, turn turning COG. Thank you for dropping by. Yeah, I'm. I don't know the term very well. So if, if you mention that it's a pre shading, then I will go ahead with so so called the pre shading. So yeah, I have limited resources here. So I'm trying to my best to make use of the resources that I have now to do the 
the effect that the airbrush able to do it. Seems that you know pretty well on the uh, plastic modeling. Uh. Maybe I, you should teach me some methods that you feel that is pretty good for my gunplay building now. How's your day? Turning COG? Looks okay now. Ah, almost ruined there. I shall not touch the sticker area or should I? Good to hear that your day is doing well. You're at a point of building where I where I can ruin a kit easily with a cutting thing ever. Wow, okay. <laughs> no I mean I don't mind you share it so at least I can trial and error, you know. Because this type of hobby you you need to make mistakes. I, I, I mean, if you don't make a mistake, you wouldn't know, you wouldn't learn the technique, man, really. So, I already spoiled quite a few of my gunplay. Yup. So, I learned from that. So, this is the best I, I know on building one already. So, if you have any advanced method, I don't mind you share and teach me along. Okay, seems pretty good. What if I I just get that it turns out very bad? Maybe the top part okay. Okay, looks looks decent. Thanks for the follow turning COG. Hmm, apparently my I think my alert is a little bit spoiled now. <laughs> you give me a while and I'll be right back.
Let me try something first. Okay, seems like it's working now. Okay, sorry. You are practicing panel, panel crafting on a HG Zaku. Oh, I also wish to learn that, man, because the HG series, right, the lining is very, very not detailed. So, yeah, I wish to learn that as well. And COG is like a SP rocket or a gear so are you saying that the COG in your name is that rocket itself and you you prefer lo a lot of rockets on your gunplay See. Oh, sorry. Let's go with this part first. So, what is your current project now? Is it a HG Zaku that you are saying? And apparently you use Asprey, right? Since you know the, 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 the pre-shading part that you mentioned earlier. There's uh, so much things I wanted to learn, but I just don't have the time and the resources here, man. How I wish my country would have this uh, hobby shop for us to, you know, uh, use and and learn the technique where they have the equipment equipment thanks bright time sorry bright me <laughs> thank you for follow So I'm doing a SD uh, Gundam Ligerous now and I wanted to really quickly finish up my Gundam H series so so that I can start with my RG series maybe one of the, one of two of the RG series so that you guys will have a variety of uh, things to watch on my building stream Apparently, my backlog is not getting any lesser, so I really wanted to clear as much as possible, but not rushing, uh, because if you rush, right, your things will turn out very bad. I did it before, and it's a horrendous uh, experience. So yeah, that's why right now I try to tone down. If I not if I if you mention the Korean Korean builder on YouTube, right? Is it the one that uh, he's kind of a uh, always wearing a cap one, then have mustache and always that's the that's the more popular YouTuber that I know of, the Korean one. As for the Japanese, there's too much man. <laughs> So the crafting, the carving of lines is a very hard technique that uh, I, 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 in my opinion, uh, because you wouldn't know how to, you know, where, where, 
where to craft the lines on the plastic itself because if you for example if you carve here in the end it doesn't turn out well you know that means the placement of the lines is very crucial on the plastic itself so I'm very bad with the placement of the lines so it's that that technique is very very high level lah. so I don't know I can you know get a hang of it Try to get rid of a little bit of the panel line here. Okay. It's better now. So this is the upper one. Yeah, the placement of line is very, very, very hard to master. Lah. <laughs> uh, apparently, Bright Me say that there's a cheat. So, there's some cheating method of uh, placement of the lines. Okay, you find people and copy out of it. Okay, that is, that's also one way of learning. I agree on that. Copying is one way of learning until you master the the technique you will try to become more creative on on the things man So bright me don't don't mind can you share the so-called the cheat sheet that you know of on on that area Ah I spoiled this It's so good that we have some common builders right on my stream and sharing the the knowledge. It's been a while that my stream started to move like that. <laughs> I'm very grateful that you guys checking out. The way I build is um, parts by parts and paint while while painting during the the so called the of the each part. So some people is like finish already, then dismantle again and try to paint again, which I feel that is very in inefficient. Maybe they wanted to see the final product first and to to decide whether there's any. Uh, painting required, that kind of thing. Okay, seems I'm done with the line, I guess. Uh, this one still...
Yep. So should be fine. So this together. Yeah. Looks not bad. Looks not bad. See any finer Oh, this one. Okay. One part done. Then we shall go to the cutting of the PC. Oh, by the way, guys, do you have uh, any comments? Uh, Okay, so Bright Me has a guide for all these lines. Placements of lines. Okay. Wait a second, why is this the other side? Am I doing the correct way? Should be this side, right? Shit, I think I mi mix up already. So, is, does this go to here? Yep, I mix up. So, this is here, this is here. Oh my god. Wait a second, this part is not colored. Popular line. Maybe I should shade the bottom part as well. It looks kind of weird without the lines. So write me. Don't, if you don't mind, you you should you can DM or whisper me the the link. Sorry, my my chat doesn't accept links now. Thank you. I'll try to show the link to everyone. Give me a while. This is a very good guide, man. So, guys, uh, all thanks to Bright Me, right? He's showing like a guidebook for all these uh, lines placement, which is very, very, very nice, you know. It's on the net, or you can buy GPF. What's the GPF? So what, where can I get this uh, guidebook from? GPF book one, panel line static. Okay, I will try to 
Go check it out, man. Yeah, it's very, very neat, man. Thank you for sharing. So I, w I really wanted to to use this stream as a learning platform for everyone. So if you guys have any technique, any skill set that you think I should do this, should do that, please go ahead. I'm more willing to learn anything that you have mentioned, man. So Bright Me has uh, given us a uh, opportunity to learn the placement of uh, crossing the uh, lines panel lines out of a uh, normal you know uh, plastic model parts so because HG is so-called a, a so-called a very less detailed plastic model kit for every for people to explore and to be creative on the on the how to say be creative of their Gundam models that is why gunplay is freedom there is no limits on whether you should do that you should do this that kind of thing it's up to you and your mind to figure out on your creativityness You can also do Gundam panel lines guide on Pinterest and get a bunch of plat patterns. So I can go and search Pinterest for panel lines or something. So should I panel line first? No, I should do the sticker first. So one shin done. So the next one. with the stickers so yep so guys please pardon me if my hands start to shake with the stickers because I can't control it's always a problem with me dealing with stickers oh scribe okay So you can use you can also do a Gundam panel line that. Well, if I if I have Pinterest. So seven is on which part? Seven is on without a hole. So seven is on this part. Six is on this part. Is that it? Yep. Where's my two pick? Yeah, I also very scared on adding too much lines on it, and you it, it, it will look very very messy, man, and complicated. But if you don't try, you may never know, man. So yeah, it's better, you know start with a very cheap kit then go and explore if the lines are too much for it or too little for it then from there you can decide the next kit If the next kit requires a lot of panel lines or not.
Nice. I'm getting there with the stickers, man. Okay, a little bit of a. Uh, Okay, should be fine. The next one, number six on this part. So, it should be this way, I guess. No, this way. Okay, looks decent. Now we use the cotter bar to let the sticker stick very well on the parts. Because there's one point right, if I didn't do this right, the sticker will automatically pop up due to that. Seems okay now. Wow, okay. Nice. So, panel lines. Panel lines. Oh. oh guys, um, I don't know if you guys know about it, apparently, or oh, is it Bandai, I think it's Bandai, it's Bandai Namco, uh, they are creating a Gundam Breaker on mobile, so right now it's on a pre-registration. So I, I don't know whether if you guys have already know about this. Maybe I can share the link to you guys. Just give me a while. Huh? I go and search that one first.
okay I searched the link already so this is the link this is the link for the Gundam Breaker mobile I haven't checked the trailer yet so it should be very very nice and I already have uh, pre-registered this on my Android phone so if you guys want to check it out go ahead go ahead and register apparently they have a minimum goal to unlock that kind of stuff when you download it on that period of time when the official is out that kind of thing so if you pre-register right you will get hold of those uh, unlock uh, the tier rewards that once you download from the official date itself I don't know when will it be out I think it should be out pretty soon already I guess they say summer 2019 so summer is about this timing yeah so guys quickly go and pre-register if you wanted to to get the rewards I guess it's a pretty good game man so I already me myself already pre-registered already so waiting for the game to be available and for download so yep let's continue So if you guys have any like self-taught technique that you think is better f better way of doing things rather than following those uh uh what's that called highly skilled builders I don't know whether you want we, we wish to share that for me right I will use toothpick <laughs> to clear you know those merging pin but I don't know whether is it considered a self-taught because I didn't learn anything from anywhere using this technique because SD kits right are very very hard to reach uh. so sometimes you require some small tiny things for you to add clean out or edit out that kind of thing you see there's a smudge over here right sometimes I use my finger and try to clean the way it works pretty well because our hands is like you know eraser you know Oh, you panel lines on the runner itself before you before you cut it. Uh. Okay, that's kind of unique. 
Is it because it's much more easier for you to hold everything, that kind of thing? And try to penalize along that kind of thing? Because for me, it's like there's certain parts for you that is very hard to reach, like something like that when it's on the runner itself. Well, that's a special, special unique way of banner lining, okay. So, hi, Davey. Ah, okay, I got spam here. Give me a wow, huh? Okay, is that your your is that your interesting? Really, really interesting. Is that your your gunplay? Write me. What key is that? To me, it's like a uh, SD GPO3 Dendrobium. I don't know whether is it that one. I think I can't do that on the runner itself, man. <laughs> I surely will need to cut it out and try to, you know, maneuver around on the the parts for the lines to. And most of the time, I will try to paint first before I paint a line. So if you are very sure that that part don't require any paint, I think we can do that on the runner itself. Uh, what I'm going to do? Okay. Yeah, it's the BB Dendrobium. Yeah, I guess it correctly. Yep, I do have the BB Dendrobium. I do liquid liner. Ah, okay. That is easy. Because I use the pen type. The liquid type is very fast and very easy. You just drip on it and it will spray all along the line. Maybe I should get that. Ah. Well, seems like right me, your technique is much more advanced than me, man. For me, I still uh, quite a manual way of doing the lines, you know. So... Okay, uh about the liquid liner right, I think there's a there's a pre-made kind of a 
I think it's a Tamiya one. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, the Tamiya have a uh, those kind of a uh, panel line drip kind. So I was intending to get that one for my gunplay and try to you know master it. I think it's a much more cheaper alternative than this pen because pen in use up quite easily. So this this kind of a uh, tip pen is not that cheap also. So if you had those Tamina glass bottle kind of a panel line, I think it's much more a cheaper alternative because it's big and it's much more easier than this manual lining because once you drip right the ink will just spread along the line just just perfectly then after that the little bit of the smudge right you just clean it with cotton bud that's it Yep, I understand where you come from, bright me. But I don't have the time. I don't have the time to make all this. I don't even have the time to build my gun down already. So the the, the pre-made is a better option, better choice for me now. You know you understand where where I'm from, right? <laughs> I'm not very uh, consistent on building my gun place uh, so when, when new kit come out uh, when the new kits come out so I'll try to buy first before it, it like go out of stock that kind of thing then as time goes by things were not being built and backlog is piling up on my shelves so it come to a point that okay I really must, must start all this thing again if not I don't have the space anymore. So that's why this stream was this stream came about just because I want to clear my bad locks. Oh, you just started. Nice. Apparently, you have a advanced technique. That mean man. <laughs> I believe that is because you are very, very focused on what you are doing, man. So that's why your technique is improving.
Arduino robots. What's the Arduino robots? Is it like something like gunplay, but it's a different kind of a robotic? Those like uh, HG kids, that kind of thing. Give me a while. I'll check your link. Wow. You are in robotics, man. So you build rob robots and program them. So uh, I mean, is this your school work or something, or is it like a work kind of a? projects that require you to do or it's just really purely a hobby for you to make this kind of robots and program them Yes, I'm done with this. Snap it up. Then we need the PC3 How can you build a hundred gunplay within a year man? Oh my god <laughs> I can't even do that man Basically my SD kits right it really took me maybe a few weeks to complete it already and you are able to do 100 kits within a year oh my god you are so awesome man I can't do that I can't do that really because I don't have really a lot of time Oh, by the way guys, I'm not solely streaming on uh, gameplay building, I also stream games. So my main game streaming is Warframe, so if you happen to catch me on that, feel free to join in the fun. Forget this part. You don't sleep much, you build from 9pm to 3am, oh my god 
Man, you gonna dis you you need some sleep, man. I uh, I mean health is the health is really very really, very important, really. So please don't please don't spoil your health. Okay, I saw your bad locks. Wow, interesting bad locks. Okay, I saw a few very very old kids, and they are very hard to find anymore. Apparently, you really like the sazabi, huh? So guys, check check Bryce. Ah, uh, backlog man. It's kind of very cool kids over there. Because rare kids are very hard to find now. The only way to find those rare, uh, very old kids, right? I only know Japan. Yeah, Japan. The Gundam base itself have the the very much older kids still around. But those limited edition one, you may be unique. Uh, sometimes to really go and search it out, man. Yeah, I can I can imagine that because uh, as you know, you requires the ele electronic parts uh, which is much more expensive than plastic lah, of course and. I think computer parts is still required for those robots, right? So apparently I'm done with the shins. So go ahead with the ways. So I require the C6. Where is the C? Is this C? No. Where is the C? This is E. This is the yellow one. Yep, the yellow one C part. Uh C six. This is C six. Oh, why is it yellow man? So this is the in between to to fit the both uh, legs. So apparently I also need the PC F. Yep, the F's for the balls. Balls. Why well, I'm sounding so for the hip. Can I say hip? So. This, this, where's the other nut marks? Is yours? Yep. Just to even out. Okay, again. Yep, leg joints. Sorry if I use use the wrong word. <laughs> I don't think I can reach. Can I reach this? Apparently, all this in between should be black. Yep, I can reach it. No, I can't. Ah, I smudge it. That is when the liquid panel line should come in, nah. So this is one of my technique to to scrape off, scrape off the pins, you know. 
Maybe I should just paint the front, I guess. Yeah, apparently the front really needs something, man. Can I reach? Can I reach? No, I can't reach. <laughs> oh my god. GB Legilis. Legilis. The GB Legilis. So, yep, this is how it. It will be fitted and apparently I smudged the paint is it on my finger now so I didn't smudge to somewhere else yep now the it's up now okay then I'll go to the skirt ready a9 and D5 Back to the A A9, A9, where's the 9? 6, 7 Okay, 9 is here Oh, by the way, uh, Bright uh, What kind of nippers are you using now? This, I mean these cutters Because I, I'm intending to change one already Leg leg legilus <laughs> Okay Oh you're using the god hand Is it a single blade or the dual blade ones? I don't know whether god hand have a single, single blade series or not It's not cheap God's hands are not cheap I believe this is D Yep I need the D5 They do have a single blade one. Okay, I'm also intending to get a single blade uh, nipples. So you are using the God Hand now. Other than God Hands, do you have any recommendation of single blades? Or you really highly recommend me to get a God Hand single blade cutters? <laughs> I know, I know, but God hands are very expensive. And apparently, I I saw saw one of the builder, right? You you know what? He was he was building his uh, I think it was a MG one of the MG gunplay. He was using the God's hand. I don't know how he do it. He break into two parts when cutting the runners. Not one, but two of his God's hand cutter. 
really I was like huh are you serious I thought I thought God God's hands quality should be way much better you know that kind of thing and that goes like the hundred bucks of both cutters man Gundam Planet single plate snipers do well as well okay okay I can check it out then how about those uh you know these files do you have any recommendation as well I also need to change this man this is not doing me well as well basically I will request like a few sending sticks like those with the hundred no not hundred thousand eight hundred five hundred that kind of thing I'm really using those very common kind of uh, things around man <laughs> which I really need to buy something better for all these kids man they deserve better because currently I do have a little budget to spend so yeah maybe I should enhance the, the equipment I use uh. What you go to twenty thousand? That is so fine. <laughs> Does it really really help? Auto part shop. Ah. Hmm. Okay. Auto part shop because they have those uh sending machine, right? Well, I think I won't go to the extent. <laughs> it's way, way too, like too, 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 too high level already. <laughs> <laughs> so where is the here, here, and here. No. Okay. The point where you suddenly feel that the the cut is too deep. Okay, some fine tuning.
you can take the part back to the original finish without paint or top coat. It's the same sanding techniques used by auto pa part painters. They know how to sand and do finishes right. Oh my god. That is so way beyond my technique, man. From a cl the clear part back to the clear part. I guess you really need to teach me how, man. <laughs> that is a that is so good, man. That means you require a lot of uh, those uh, the grid of the sandpapers. I only have the buff and the shine, so. You, it made me you, it made me wonder on your current completed gunplay man on how to do the headlights okay headlights is using acrylic if I'm remember Yep. Let's see. Anything at the back? Nope. Okay, I can just fill it up already. Nice. Panel lines. Where's my oh is yeah. Wow, yellow to UV damage back to clear. That that they I think they require a lot of sanding man. I remember th I should I saw one of their technique is to use toothpaste to clear away the yellowish uh tint on the headlights. I don't know whether does it help on the gunplay itself or oh, was it baking baking soda a super fine grid pace hmm Oh, by the way, bright. Where you, where you came from, ah? Uh? I'm from Singapore, so it's a very hot country. California, and it should be very late now, right? <laughs> oh my God, you really need some sleep, man. I mean, there's there's this unique feature, uh, unique, uh, 
how to say you need behavior for we uh, plastic modelers is we don't sleep <laughs> we'll tend to try to finish the the plastic model as much as we can before we head to sleep you really want to see the completion of the the plastic model right Okay then, thank you for really staying up to watch me doing this man. I really appreciate that a lot. I, it seems that like you are the only one that is chatting with me now. <laughs> really, really, I really really very grateful that you are here and keep on chatting with me, telling me your technique, secrets, that kind of stuff. Else it will be a very very you know one sided stream you know and usually I'll run out of uh, topics to to talk about oh by the way do you stream you are building the Sinaju right now okay I have a Sinaju here and it's a limited edition the group the Gloss injection from Gundam base itself. I haven't touched anything yet because I want to finish up my SDs first. That is why I say I I really wanted to finish as much of the SD kits before I start with my RGs. And I think the RG will take even me longer time of doing man. And by the way, do you stream or not? Since you have so much technique, why don't you stream and teach people, man? Well, it's a suggestion. Hi Porter, thank you for dropping by. UPS screw up. You stream on Twitch and YouTube. Okay, I will later I will drop by uh, and give you a follow. And I think once you live I will be to, uh, able to see you man. I really wanted to check on how how you how's your, how you are building your kids, man. Maybe I can learn something from it. It's a good thing that we found people with same hobby and sharing ideas, man. I 
I used to stream on Saturdays, my my time, which is like yesterday that kind of thing. But apparently I have uh cluster, so I dropped the stream on Saturday and changed it into two days, which is a Sunday for me. I guess this should be fine already. Yep. Be the front. Okay, where's it? They should fit here. Very seems like not bad. Just to fit a little bit properly. Okay, we got our waist already. So we shall move to the chest area. Apparently the chest area is a bit unique compared to the the rest, huh? Because this kit has a gimmick man and there is I show you guys huh there is the head will keep come out from the whole uh chest unit lah. so it's like a can I say a booster kind of a escape pod that kind of thing. So that is why the, the chest area a little bit more things to do. So what makes you to drop the idea of making the Meteor Freedom Unit? I believe it's a HG kit, right? Yeah, it's like a bat with a with a tail gun. So let's see the chest. We need a F1. I think it's a green, green clear plastic, and a C7. I think that's a yellow. With the PC303 again. For the hand, I think it's this two. For the shoulder, yep, the C unit. After that, I. I saw some stickers already. I shall slowly move to there lah. I we start with the the, the inner chest first. So you see this is the clear plastic, the F, I need the F1 which is this little tiny small thing. So I can assure you that I was, I will have a stress mark on this type of uh, plastic, definitely with, with this kind of nipples. <laughs> so I'll try to do my best not to give extra stress man. So we need a C7. So yep, C7 apparently it broke off without me knowing. I also don't know why. So okay, and 
two of the PC C If all things go well, I should be able to complete the chest plate, chest unit. So do I need to do anything here? Yep, a little bit of smoothing over there. Here. Okay, it's clean. This part a little bit. Okay. G and arms type E last week. Wow, that is big. E should be Axia unit, right? Have you gotten hold the S Trail units? I believe Bandai is coming out with the metal build, right? If I remember correctly, for the S Trail GN. Do I need to color that? I believe so. Wait, let me check. Yeah, I think so. So all this is the air duck. So I'll be using black. Wow, you you really have the money to spend these big kids, man. Okay, a little smudge, never mind. I can deal it with the toothpick. Sorry, Bright, if my technique is boring you because your technique is really way advanced than me, man. Sometimes I do get jealous for those uh, people with, uh, you know, a better technique on building gunplays. I do, em I'm very envious of them able to produce out a very, very good kit with the spring, air spring technique, the sending technique, the carving of lines technique, really leh. Sometimes you make me just wonder whether am I doing the correct thing or not. I know gunplay is freedom, but this should have a basic fundamental of doing this gunplay, man. So I don't know whether my fundamental is there or not.
Hi, self. Thank you for telling me why. It's all the same to you. As in the the kids, that the big kids that you are building is the same for you, or is it my technique the same as you, or? Self, how's your Twitch overlay doing? Ah, uh? you mentioned that you are like trying to edit a little things on your streaming kind of stuff. Okay, here seems okay here. Okay, they should fit here and try to move around to loosen the thing. Okay, the inner chest is done. Okay, clear plastic, which I'm very, 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 how to say, bad with this. Okay, try not to stretch, try not to stretch. Come on. Cut it. Okay. Uh, I'm very cautioned with this man. Let's see if I oh, okay. You see the stretch mark. I don't know if you can see or not. I can't foul that much. This one is okay, but the other one is not. So yeah. Maybe I will My way is just my way of doing. Everybody has a different way of doing. Okay, so your my way is just a variable as how you do it. Okay, that that's encouraging me a little. So I try not to do. So you're saying. Uh, the top and bottom of the inside, the marks will be hidden. Yep, I I I, I agree that lah. I agree with that. So ah, ah shit, I drop it. Oh dear, oh dear, I drop it. Okay, this this is a uh, operation now. Give me a while. Hi Kate. Hi Senpai. Welcome to my stream, Senpai. Oh shit, where is that? Where is that? Where is that? Oh my god, oh my god. Oh, I found it. Lucky I found it. I really very very skeptical with these small parts, man. Senpai, how are you, Senpai? Maybe I should... How to say? Do a container for these small parts, man. Just in case that it drop to the ground or something.
Yeah, try to smooth a little bit. Okay then. Uh, should be this way. Okay. Well, it's a good thing that it's very inside, so it won't be having the marks on the outside. So we are done with the inner chest. So let's proceed to the outer chest. So we have E1. I believe it's a blue color. Yep, E is a blue. This is the outer chest. So apparently it fit, should fit in like that. So apparently we have stickers again. It's a E10. No, it's a 10. So what's a 10? Senpai, I'm very hot now. The weather is not helping me. <laughs> Atsui, Atsui, is it correct in Japanese? Atsui, hot. So panel lines, just take some practice to get motion. Yeah, I agree. Pig was a pure white kid. I shaded and lined with pen, so pen can do a lot. Okay, let me take a look. Wow, how you how, how you get the texture on the like the skill skill thing uh, other than the panel lines on the outer layer. I saw that the inside is like a bit of like dog matrix kind of feeling to me, like a very scaly kind of uh, effect. You use that with just the pen itself. So guys check this out man. This is this is really really a good tech a very very high technique that I can't do right now. <laughs> you use two pens, grey and black. Atsui Atsui Am I co pronouncing correctly? Grey color, how to I mean how how to use how do you sh shade it so evenly out? That is so awesome man <laughs> Really really I can't do that man like you do you use like cotton buds or whatsoever to like do the the the, the scaly effect senpai you want to do some gunplay okay the chest plate is out i haven't it which require a 10 yeah it's a yellow maybe i should use the pin already since this is much more easier to assess yep you let it dry and buff to get the shade So you're saying that this grey pen Do I have an example? Okay Let's So this grey You were color, coloring all over here something like that You wait it to dry 
and you use a buffer so I have a buff here so you buff it out are you saying that way This is GM12. I don't have a GM2. I know what what kind of paint you are referring. The very very light gray, right? Here mentioned GM12. So this is apparently a very uh, a darker grey I guess And you buff it out Wow Wow <laughs> Okay I learned something new Okay, I learned something new. Really, really new. Okay, I'm I'm going to try that technique, man, and see how it goes. So you are saying that the lines right I will use a a dark a darker darker uh darker ink so I I do it a lot of times so that I can smudge it downwards to the 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 armor plate itself I was saying that way Where's the other one? Yeah, it's here.
You wipe away really fast while it's still wet. Okay. If you want a little longer, you will lift more in the line when you wipe it away. Understand. Understand where you come from. It's the same technique that I'm using for this panel lines. Uh, but it's just that the, the paint is much more wet. Much more wet compared to, to this... Uh, this panel lines markers so I would run quite a few times with the, on the line then try to smudge it over interesting so let the buff here It's a bit hard to reach here. So, people, it, actually, I have some play cheat techniques. La, so, yeah, I'll say because sometimes I do a little get a little bit lazy for this kind of areas because eventually it will be covered ma. so you won't need to do a lot of uh, fine tuning over here so you can just do it in such a way that it doesn't hinder with the movement so try to just even out that will do already that's that's the, that's the lazy way of me doing it uh. so yep <laughs> Yeah, I I do news, use my nails to fill the the areas if there's any like yeah uh, here here needs a little bit more even it out because nails is the best tool for us to fill the parts man. If not, we can't really fill the thing with the fingertips that kind of thing. So the nails is the best thing. For us to feel if there's a need to further sand it or to just rub it with the nails to try to even it out without using the far. Yep, that's what I've thought so. But some people fingernails are quite Printer, uh, so it's not a good thing for them but usually the the thumb thumbnails is ha the hardest compared to the rest of the news so yeah I need to do some coloring I don't know whether my, my marker is dry up already or not. I hope I hope not. Okay, it seems fine. So this part is yellow.
Okay. Actually, apparently this is better than compared to this one. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> okay, let's try to... Okay, better. So I'll wait it dry a little bit. We shall continue to the next part. So next part is a uh, what part? The bottom waist B three. What's a B? Oh, that's good. B is a grey color. I was thinking whether is it a white part, so I may need to use a grey to to color it. Apparently not. I save quite a a lot of time doing the painting. So B3, no stickers, nothing. Let me double check. I guess not, there's nothing. So it's easy, yeah. I think we can really complete the chest. It's within our limit, time limit. So yes, continue. If can, maybe I can start with the shoulder blades. So and guys you will think that I'm doing in the reverse way because usually the manual will tell us to start with the head and work from head to toe. I don't really like the way it goes up because I, I I prefer from the legs to the to the head upwards that kind of uh uh, what's that called? Uh, procedure? No. Position? No. Uh, I think I, I prefer t from feet to the head. Lah, so that it can, you know, hold from the legs onwards, upwards. You wouldn't like living around like that, that kind of thing, you know. Because there's no foundation on it for you to place the parts on. So that is why I prefer to do from the legs first rather than the head first. Because I do believe that projects will start from the bottom right instead of like starting from the head itself. Sorty ah! Today Sorty got... Easy or not, Kazuki? Actually, I done already. I done for the the week. Uh, what's that called? The whole weekly night wave already. You check whether Senpai is on or not, then uh, you you ask for his help, lo. 
because he will every time do sorty to get ribbon mod one. I believe he's online now. Mobile defense, rescue, and hijack. Okay, hijack is a bit hijack. Hijack what thing? And apparently, I guess today is the the ending day for the nightway mission, right? You're aiming for even ah. <laughs> the RNG is not very good ah. I hardly got ribbons from salty man. <laughs> well can try. Later lor, maybe later my evening stream we, we, we do something with the salty lor. So yeah guys, the evening stream right, uh, which is after this Gunplay stream. I'll be streaming Warframe. So if you guys wanted to check me out, I hope you can uh, uh, be there and watch me play Warframe. Warframe has been part of my life for five years already. Yeah, I've been playing Warframe for five years. Can you imagine that? <laughs> A game that can occupy me for five years, you know. So, if you check it out, you'll know why why I keep on playing lah. So apparently this is done. Where's my cover? Yeah, I drop my cover. Yeah, I drop my cover. Where's the cover? Oh no, it's here. So let's continue with this. I think this shouldn't be a. Just a little bit of uh, smoothing on this part. And a smoothing on this part. Okay, seems fine. So apparently the instruction is telling me to fit this first, then fit this first, then fit the chest plate for the last. So we need a ball here, which is uh, E, should be this one. So you just feed it inside here. Okay. Try to move around. Okay. So you have your waist done. As you can see, like this part is very hollow, right? It's because the the backpack unit and the head unit is can be de detached from here so you'll see this hollow is for that placement so let's get back to this we need more yellow of here yeah here also a little bit more yellow 
Yes, the core fighter. If you mention in the RX78 way. <laughs> but it doesn't look like a core fighter, man. It's just like a, 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 a bed with a very big head, that kind of thing. So, more yellow. Try to cover the blue part. Yeah, okay. Ouch, shit. My hand got paid! My hand got paid! Paid! Looks fine. Okay, just let it dry for a bit and also clean my hand. Since we are waiting, maybe I can really, really go and check on the... Oh, there's more! Oh, okay. We have more at the back here. So, okay, uh, E2 and E3. So, what's that? So it's this two part. Okay, I finished my boba milk. This one like not bad lah, the taste. Hmm, maybe I can Try them on the uh, rest of the product. Okay, since we are waiting for this paint to dry, we shall go ahead with this. Let me check if there's anything that need to be colored. Nope, nothing. Yep, nothing.
let's go hit so e2 is which part uh two is here three is here okay so it's like that Two is here, just in case. Okay, three is here, and I'm done with E. There's nothing left. Okay. Let's Okay, it's clean. Where's the other part? Is it here? Ah, I scratch it. Okay. Need a bit falling and we'll be done. This is a harder place to reach. Ouch.
Better lines. Should be fine. So this should be here. Oh yeah, I don't have the. Does it fit? I guess. Yep, it fit. Ah, shit. Gonna clean that way. Lucky is not the... The permanent ink. Usually the... The thumb should be able to rub it off. Seems fine. So you'll feed this in. And this part. Okay, we'll do some scraping. Yes, you didn't hear wrongly. Scraping. You see, there's some pins that over over like smudge over the the lines already so usually i'll use either the two pick if not it's this like this uh what's the call maybe some uh normal statistic that kind of stuff i'll try to like scrape it off this only can be done when the paint is going to be almost dry huh? It's not when it's very wet. Huh? So if it's very wet, right, don't do anything because you will tend to smudge even more paint across the parts. Oh shit. I guess I need more paint. This one is better. This part is actually okay. That the the ink doesn't really smudge that much. But the other side is like 
It's merging all don't know where you know this one especially Hi caveman, I'm building the SD Gundam Legilis. So if you if you are a Gundam fan, you should be able to guess it out. Maybe I can show you. Give me a while. I'm making this guy. So yeah, I already made until the chest area ready. So yeah, I'm trying to scrape off the excess pain from the chest plate because I accidentally smashed the pain. So this how I usually scrape off the excess pain is using a toothpick. Seems fine already, okay. A little bit more here. Okay. Then we shall go ahead with the panel lines. There's a lot, man. I will panel line on the pin at the last stage because the pin is still a little bit wet. I don't want to go over the wet pin. We shall go with all this first.
Apparently these lines are very detailed uh, compared to my previous uh, SD kits because usually I won't get a lot of banner lines on this chest area so this one is pretty well detailed so should Ah. Okay, I guess the most of the parts are already penalized here left with these parts. So let's be very careful.
Okay. I guess this shall be it. Maybe a little bit of a scraping. Okay, better. So we can feed it up. Nice. Okay, this is the chest unit. So as you can see, this is the hollow part for the head and the backpack. So I guess this will be the end of my stream I guess. So I shall continue the rest. Hopefully it can complete on my next stream. So the shoulder blade, the hand, the head and the backpack. Uh, or should I should I go continue man continue the shoulder plates first so apparently this is the I think we shall continue maybe until another half an hour okay let's see the half an hour how much can I do man that's the shoulder Okay, sure. They're quite simple. Which is like a two, two, two thing, and it should be done. So it's this, these two parts, A two and C five. So A two. Okay, bright. Thank you for dropping by. I'm very very appreciated for you to spend the really late nights with me. So let me do a shout out for you, man. So guys, do check write me on any gun plays. So he also doing some gun plays building. I hope you can like try to follow him and check him out. And thank you once again, Bright, for following and spending time with me on my stream. I appreciate on your teachings of techniques on your gunplays to me. I think it's very useful for me uh, to further expand my knowledge on this. Thank you so much. I'll see you once again. Lucky this part is the same, so I don't need to have like a left right arrangement.
So the other part is C5. Is it yellow? Yes, it's yellow again. This one. Maybe I need to check whether there's any coloring. Most likely it's in, inside here which I cannot reach. So I shall sh leave it as this is. Yep, nothing much. Okay, let's go. A little bit of falling. Careful with these parts. Most likely, I only I need to file this already. I cannot cut. Yep, I guess I'm not cutting. Hi Porter, welcome back to my stream. So a little bit of a fouling. Better. 
Yep, thanks. Okay, most likely this one will go over here so that this one will be the front. So the back. Will not be seen. Okay. Okay, so I shall fit this in. Go. I think before that we shall panel line first. This part. Yep, the line is okay
Okay, I guess this should be here. And last, we will go with the panel lines on the white. Remember, guys, use the gray one, else your lines will be very, very thick. Okay, I guess we are done with the shoulders and just nice. Let me fit this up. Yep, it looks pretty well. So we have the shoulders, the legs, the chest and the next stream on the gunplay we'll continue from the hand the arms la. then we'll move to the head and the backpack i think the next stream we'll able to complete this kit already so yeah this is all for today thank you guys for dropping by on checking me and checking me out on building this uh, sd gundam Legilis. So this is the progress of today's uh, stream and thank you so much people I hope you have a great time and my next gunplay stream will be on the same time Sunday afternoon 2 to 6 I guess the 4 hour, four hour session so if possible maybe I can extend uh if there's things needed to be completed on that day yeah so apparently now today is i completed uh actually i completed much more than i expect to complete so yeah uh yeah this is a good progress so the next one i should be able to complete the ligerous already so that we can move on to the next sd kit and that will be the Gundam FX also from the H series and that it will be the last SD Gundam 
uh, they'll be doing for the H series so do do keep a lookout and for people who is here I do hope that you can drop a follow on my Twitch channel and on my social media I appreciate that if you can do that and I'll always keep on update on my screen schedule on what's uh, what's happening on my Twitch that kind of stuff and I also do some updates on the games latest game late, latest game info or maybe gunplay info that kind of stuff so do give me a follow if you able to uh, all my social media links are right below at the Twitch panels oh you can check it out and I think that's, that's all about it so usually after this right I will try to do some raids let's see who's around let's see let's see who is around Okay, maybe we start do some Okay, we shall visit this guy which also doing some gameplay. I haven't known him yet, so let's bring all the hype to him. Aoki Suzuku Yep We'll be raiding him uh, Did I do something wrong? Wait, uh, let me see, uh, let me see I cannot do any raid Did I, did I click something wrong? Why I cannot raid him? Oh, okay Okay guys, bring all the hype to him. I hope you can use my emotes. And help to support him a little. And I shall see you later at night. And I'll be streaming Warframe, which is about another 2 hours time. So right now it's my dinner break and so called a little break away from the stream. And I'll see you tonight. So, once again, thank you all. As usual, Ken can play, so can you. Good day, good night, and I'll see you later.